Ako sa chceš ty reálne umiestniť na Olympii, čo očakávaš? Tak. What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazer Fitness. Starting today's video with Rafael Brandao and his off-season update. The way his weight has been on a steady incline. He will soon reach 300 pounds with a solar shape. That is a very good body composition right there. So with Rafael finishing top 10 at his Olympia debut last year, that drew in one of the most competitive lineups in the Olympia history. Sky is the limit for this man. So his plan is to come back next year with a lot more size because that has been the only knock on his physique. And if Rafael can keep all his beautiful lines in check that he has always been known for while getting bigger, he 100% fits in that classic men's open criteria just like Samson Dalda, Andrew Jack, Regan Grimes. He's a tall guy, he is wide, he controls his waist very well on stage. Again, the lack of thickness is the only weakness that he has. And that is exactly why he chose to sit out of the 2023 season. He could have placed even better than top 10, but he chose to sit out this year. And I do hope that it all works out for him. And he finally overcomes his weakness. If we go back and look at his competition season in 2021, keep in mind that was late 2021. Him and Sam Sandala were so close that they went back and forth beating each other in the tour. Rafael won the Romania Pro and Samson won the Prague. And from that point onwards, the trajectory of Samson's career, that has skyrocketed. So can we expect the same from Rafael Brandao next year? I mean, the man is really driven. He has been an RB Pro now for a long time. So 2024 is gonna be a big year for him. Michael Creso has talked about his expectations going into this year's Mr. Olympia. Last year, the aim was to place top 15. This year, he sat top 10. But realistically speaking, where does he see himself place in 9 weeks? So here is a clip from his latest YouTube video explaining where he wants to see himself at this year's Mr. Olympia. my plan na tento rok je určite top 10. Ale to je iba taký skromný plán, taký lepší plán je tak 7, 8, 7. Now, out of all the guys who weren't in the top 10 last year, I would say Krezo has to be the most dangerous and a real wild card to be considered, at least in those top air spots. I think he has the potential to place higher. He has great stage presence, a lot of size, and now we know that he can match almost anyone in the conditioning department as well. Especially the way he showed up at Ampro Classics Man. Now here is another thing. Whether Big Romy will show up at this year's Olympia or not. That will be a big variable on how high some of these guys will place. Because if Romy doesn't show up, we will have three empty slots in the top 10. William Bonac, Rafael Brandao and Big Romy. So a big chance for some of these guys to move up. Olympia. John Dela Rosa came very close to winning a pro show this year. He had a better shot at winning Chicago Pro compared to Tampa Pro because Hunter Lebrada really showed up at his all-time best there. So two second placings this year. And now that we have only one Olympia qualifier left in the US, which is gonna be the Legion Sports, John has decided to shut it down, go back to the drawing board, and start his offseason for 2024. Now what really impressed me was the way John showed up, especially after that bicep tear. On top of that, he was returning to the bodybuilding stage after a very long time. And according to the scorecards, at Tampa Pro, only one point separated John and Hunter at the finals of that show. Although a lot of you guys did explain that to me that there were some points missing from the scorecards. But still, the way this guy showed up, that was truly impressive. And a big statement of what John can really do, even during this point of his career. Him and his coach have figured out pretty well on how to bring his best look to the stage. And they did that twice this year. 
because I think that looks that he brought this year, those were some of his best of his entire professional career. So Arnold 2024, that would be a good show to make a solid impact next year. We have seen how the fans welcome their champs when they come back to their home countries. How the Chopin's welcome has always been amazing to watch. And so was Big Rami's return when he traveled back to his home country, Egypt, even after last year's Mr. Olympia. So I saw this beautiful video on RX Muscle IG where the fans are cheering Kamal after his Masters Olympia victory. Kamal deserves all the credit, there is no doubt about that. He deserves all the recognition in the world. Truly a legend of the sport. They say age is just a number, and Kamal is a perfect definition of that. I have only seen a handful of athletes who have seen this kind of success even in their 40s. Dexter Jackson is one, the late Sean Roden was another, and number three is Kamal. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video, and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.